Hi guys, it's Alstrin. In this video, we are going to learn about Postbase. The sections for this video is first I'm going to explain what this tool does and showcase you all its features and functionality and explain all the data it provides and I will be sharing my final conclusion on how I am personally using Postbase for the last couple of months and how might it help you and along with its cons and pros. Okay, let's get started. First, what is Postbase? Postbase is a content research and outline tool basically which helps you to speed up your content writing processes. This might feel uh, confusing for beginner users on what I am actually talking about but when I go through the app and showcase each of its functionality then you will get a better source of understanding. So just remember it's not a AI writer, it's not a keyword research tool, it's merely a tool which helps you to do research for your content much faster. Okay, now let go. Me, let me go into the dashboard. This is one of the tools which is have a really simple UX flow. There is no complex step, uh, steps at all. There is not so many features. It is a really simple and straightforward tool. And you can see there are four main categories, which is one content planner, the screen which I am in, and topic report, content brief, and content projects. Let me go one by one. Content planner is like a social media calendar or just your personal calendar where you can plan out content on where you want to create, at what stage the content is in. Do I want to go and create a report? I'll explain what all these things are. Do you want to create brief all this data? You can have a high level view on what you need to do, what date which you want to create. And you can also create different uh, title. You can add it to the planner you can set it as whether it's on draft or do you want to set it as review published it's like a basic uh, content social media calendar which i do not use personally that's why you are not seeing any of my reports here because i do not use this kind of feature inside postbase but you have that option for you you also have the option to switch this to a list view if you want you can see it as a list rather than the calendar itself let me go into one of my favorite feature which is the topic reports which is the bulk of this tool feature lies on. Basically you come here and you already have a keyword you want to write. That's why I mentioned this is not a keyword research tool. You find out your keyword or blog post which you already planning to write and you come and take that keyword and put it into here. For example in this case let's say I'm going to do uh, SEO uh, in Tamil which is another key article I'm writing so in this case I'm giving my title or main keyword which I want to rank on Google and I can select the Google which I want to have for example I have all this different option on pretty much all the Google let me for this case I'm going to focus on India Google and I also have different languages which is supported not all the languages are supported so I'm just scrolling down so you can see whether your personally wanted language is supported in this case you can see uh, Tamil is not supported so I can't use Tamil in this case I'm just going to leave it as English and just I need to press create report that's it guys basically now what will happen is it will use this keyword selected search engine and uh, the language go out to Google and try to scrap top 15 results and give you a summarized data from it for example let me close out this and you can see this is preparing actually let me refresh and see whether it is done or I can use another report to show you guys uh, if what I am talking about basically it's preparing it will take anywhere from 30 seconds to 2 minutes or so it should be fast uh, in this case, I'm just going to open up another report which I have done just you can see on 23rd. So I'm going to open up that. Once you've done that, you will can click on this button and you will be coming up to a screen something like this. Basically, you have the option to download the report also if you want. Basically, it will show you a basic 
summary overview it will show you average word count for this particular keyword on the top 15 results so you can have an idea on how much content should i be able to should I should I write in order to be competitive average readability and also keyword frequency like how many times this actual keyword has been used and this will give me in a quick highlight of the top 15 ranking URL their word count readability how many time keywords has been used image count h tags which is heading tags and the view article so i can get a quick eye level overview idea on what are my competitors and how their content is depth is also possible and if i scroll down i get the same information which i got in the list format now i'm getting in a, a nice a graph format i don't personally find this useful but if you are a person who like to have visual approach then this might be interesting to you if i scroll down this is one of the important uh, part of this uh, tool is where it provides all the outlines which means it goes to a website it scrapes their h1 heading h2 headings h3 headings h4 headings and puts everything in one single position without any tabs or moving to a different screens expanding all these things it provides everything in a single nice graphical user interface for example this is the ranking one result it shows the title it gives me my outline and shows which is the h2 h3 on what these guys are doing and you can see automatically from this screen itself i'm able to see all the four top uh, ranking results and what is the structure of the article so i can immediately prepare my topic outline based on my competitors so you can see if i scroll down it shows highlights all the different h2 tags which is available on that and you're not just able to stop there and collect it in notepad where they have provided a tool called uh, view content brief yeah, inside that you would not see all these things because this is an existing article you will see something like this where automatically you get the title and you can now click on any of the title you want and it will be added into this outline for example i want to focus on what is keyword research so i click on it and you can see uh, that is done so i need to an have another section on how to find keyword brainstorm seed keyword these are really good for me and let's say for example i am liking this so you just click on whichever the title you are interested on it and automatically all this skill will be added for you so you can use this to drag around you can change the topic order or even you can edit all the things you don't like if you want to add certain words you can do that or you can add your own headline also for example if i'm coming here and you can see add a year i can text it and my title one i can do that that I can delete it all these things are possible and once I done that I can essentially copy this or use this in the report itself for example if I copy this and open up this in a notepad and you can see this is how I'm going to get the title outline immediately so this content brief editor helps me to easily copy all the clicked titles into clipboard if I scroll it a bit down now i'm going to get some further data into the summary content research these are the top 15 results now it also shows me the questions which it found on google for my keyword and also it will give a relevancy score also and it shows the source so if i want to see actual source for this particular question and what are the answers they have provided i can immediately go there and find more details about it so if i scroll down you can see it taking questions from quora reddit and also people also are section and bottom i'm also getting some related keywords from google uh, the bottom usually you can find this data so it's bringing that and it also bringing me all the all tags all tags means the keyword which has been used for the image to describe that image for seo purposes and you i can get an all tag keyword ideas what are the keywords they are doing i can add these as well to my content brief if i keep on scrolling down i'm also getting outbound url uh, which the competitors are linking to what 
where the source article and where it is linking to this is really good for me to find what are the products they are recommending what are the, if it's an applicate article what are the products they are applicated with if this is a industry content piece then i can find what are the sources they are linking to so what are the data they are getting in which are the links they consider authority so i can have a quick eye level view and get the url along with the anchor text and where the ranking position for that also if i scroll down you can see it has bringing me a lot of outbound links and that is what you get from a topic report brief summary and easy to see within all data on one screen the first uh, important con here is that you get the easy approach but you are lacking on data depth for example i can't see inside this what is the text they have written i have to go inside the article directly and find it out for something like outranking i can see that also inside it but the workflow is completely different so this is up to you on what kind of workflow you prefer if i go into the content brief now it's another simple where you have the content brief you can see i have created it I can create a view the brief which I have created here directly. For example, if I click on view, it will show me all the content brief. I can copy to clipboard or edit it or share it with whoever I choose. Or if I go there and I can edit, share, these options are here also. If I click on edit brief, you can see it will go back to that screen with the content brief uh, where can see i can do that and i can start editing also so it's automatically saved and you will get the content brief option the content project might be useful for someone but still it's not up to mark my my standard where if i want to improve the content based on and write the content within the post pen, you can do it from here. For example, uh, if I click on optimize after creating content brief, you will be presented here where it's like a basic HTML editor. You can write everything. For example, I'm going to do title. This is basically where you write the entire article and this will grade your score. For example, you can add more keywords. If you want secondary keywords, you can optimize that for. It will also give your overall SEO score and the number of words we are using readability it will measure it keywords used adding article type and it will also give you certain suggestions like what are the things you want to focus and emphasize on and topics on what are the topics you can focus on these data adding all this thing personally still this section is not up to my mark where i like to get more in-depth data from nlp they are saying that it's on roadmap so if you are watching this video on a later day then probably it would be available but as of now it's not available i also like to see a lot of more competitor insights when i like to write so far my favorite to write is has been market news and post paste i'm just using for topic reports so in conclusion post paste uh how I'm using for the last two months is to get the first initial step of the research part where I don't want to uh, focus too much data. I just want to get a summarized overview data at the first step of my content research process and one screen and I don't like to browse around view all this data but I get the summarized information in one screen and I create a brief I understand the market I understand the industry focus where how the competitors are focusing for this keyword then I go there from my other content research tools like outranking market news or writers in to finish up my content research process so it's not a keyword research tool it's not an ai writer but it's a, just a simple and easy way to see a summarized version of all the content needs and do a content research and outline process really quickly i hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching and i see you guys in another great video Cheers.